For quite a long time, Jigawa State has been considered as one of the educationally disadvantaged states in Nigeria, both in relative and absolute terms. According to the National Mass Education Commission, the average literacy rate in any language in Jigawa State was about 41% in 2012. This rate is well below the national average of 65.7%, 56.8% for women, and 74.6% for men. Statistics in the sector indicate that there are 2,145 primary, 538 junior secondary, 189 senior secondary schools, and six tertiary institutions in the state. As at the inception of His Excellency, Governor Mohamed Badaru Abubakar's government, the sector was bedeviled with so many issues and challenges as were highlighted in the various submissions in the handover notes of the immediate past administration. In order to evaluate the quantum of the problems, the Honorable Commissioner and her team embarked on a tour of primary, junior and senior secondary schools as well as tertiary institutions across the state. Some of the key problems identified included infrastructural decay, congestion in classrooms and boarding houses, inadequate structural materials, and seats for both staff and pupils, poor learning outcomes at both basic and post-basic levels, and large number of out-of-school children, which according to ESSPIN Composite Survey, were up to 700,000 in 2014. Death of teachers, both in terms of quality and quantity, was considered key impediment to education service delivery in the state. Thereafter, town hall meetings were convened to present the identified problems, issues and challenges to stakeholders and collect their inputs on the ways forward. This led to the development of the Education Change Agenda, an action plan that seeks to reverse the negative trends and propel the sector to greater heights in the short, medium and long terms. The major strategies of the Change Agenda include the congestion of schools, increase in number of female teachers, enhancing teachers' welfare, improving learning outcomes through the introduction of effective primary and junior secondary schools and the establishment of ICT science and technology centers of excellence. Other strategies include the introduction of IQTE sustainable pilot schools, reducing gender disparity in attendance and retention, training and retraining of teachers at both basic and post-basic levels, establishing synergy between the suburb and teacher training institutions, strengthening higher education through upgrading facilities and structures to meet accreditation requirements, and ensuring that all courses are in line with prevailing manpower requirements of the state, private sector, and the federal government. Two primary schools and one junior secondary school in hard-to-reach areas in each of the 287 political wards are being converted to special schools with the complement of standard classrooms and qualified teachers. The schools are being constructed alongside four residential houses to serve as living quarters for teachers handling core subjects. The idea is to ensure equal access to qualitative education regardless of the location. First, the APC-led administration in the state under the leadership of His Excellency, Governor Muhammad Abubakar Badaru, has not only shown the political will and commitment to improve the sector, but has also provided the required resources to implement the various programs and projects outlined in the Education Change Agenda. A clear testimony of His Excellency's commitment to education is allocating not less than 30% of the state's annual budget to the sector since inception of his administration in May 2015. This has made it possible to establish 44 new schools comprising of 26 new day senior secondary schools, development of 19 permanent sites of senior day secondary schools across the state, and also the government has carried out the construction and renovation of 4,520 classrooms. School uniforms were distributed to female students of senior secondary schools across the state. At the senior secondary school level, government has carried out the construction and renovation of school structures at GGSS Suletankarkar, GSS Malam Maduri, GSS Aujara, GGSS Kazauri, GGASS Babura, and GGAS Danzomo. 
The tertiary education sector has not been left unattended to by this administration. Contracts worth 96 million naira was awarded for the construction of a science laboratory and classroom blocks at Binyamini Polytechnic, Hadejia. Similarly, government awarded contracts for the construction of Education Technology Resource Center and a library complex at the College of Islamic and Legal Studies, Ringim. At the Sulelamido University, Kafin Hausa, at the Vice Chancellor's Lodge, which was at 40% completion level as at the inception of this administration, is now completed. The Senate building is also completed. Likewise, the Students' Hostel, at 20% level, has now been completed, and the building at the School of Preliminary Studies, Sule Lamido University, has also been completely renovated. In addition to that, at the Institute of Informatics, Kazori, there was the construction of Students' Hostel, renovation of 40 rooms in female students' hostel, and procurement of laboratory equipment. Governor Badaru's administration, above all, ensures that all courses in all of our tertiary institutions are nationally accredited and necessary facilities for the smooth conduct of their operations are provided. Similarly, over 14,400 sets of three-seater desks were procured for senior secondary schools. In this regard, the Jigawa Subeb has also procured more than 90,000 sets of three-seater pupils furniture to meet up with His Excellency's commitment to end the sordid situation of pupils sitting on bare floor before the end of his tenure. We are very grateful to this administration. Uh, initially, our students were sitting on bare, bare floors, no sitting uh, provision for them. When you see them in the morning very clean, later in the day you'll see them going back to their hostels very dirty. Uh, now that uh, with the coming of this administration, I assure you, and we have gone around our classes, you can see our students sitting down comfortably uh, taking their lessons. Uh. The government school feeding program that started with 427,000 primaries 1 to 3 pupils and 319,000 primary 4 to 6 pupils resulted to an increase of access and attendance by 35%. Because of the importance the present administration attaches to filling the ever-increasing teacher gap, a systematic, free and fair teacher recruitment policy was applied in recruiting more than 300 teachers in senior secondary schools and 620 for basic education. The second round of the exercise to recruit additional 200 and 773 teachers for senior secondary school and basic education respectively has reached an advanced stage. The deployment of over 2,400 NPAR volunteers to teach in schools across the state has contributed immensely in improving education service delivery and providing gainful employment to the state team in youth. The Governor Muhammad Badr Abubakar led administration has shown strong commitment to supporting the educational dreams of the exceptional and indigent students of the state. This is manifested in the prompt payment of scholarship bills. In fact, the government have settled all the scholarship obligations inherited from the previous administration. Jigawa state government has cancelled the payment of school fees in all public schools. The investments in the education sector have started yielding positive results. The state recorded 16.84% success in the 2016 YEC results as against 4.59% in 2015. 50.20% performance in 2016 as against 38.93% in 2015 and 38.14% in 2014. The performance of the state in WAEC and NICO examination is an indication that given the right leadership, the impossible can be made possible and the unsurpassable can be surpassed.